Hamza has a pool at his house. It is 12 meters long and 8 meters wide. He wants to put a fence around the pool. The fence needs to be 4 meters away from the sides of the pool. How much fence does Hamza need? We can use a coordinate plane to help answer this question. The pool is 12 meters long and it is 8 meters wide. The fence needs to be 4 meters from each side of the pool. We count 4 meters right, 4 meters left, 4 meters up, and 4 meters down. The fence is 20 meters long and 16 meters wide. Now you add up the sides of the fence. Hamza will need 72 meters of fence. In today's lesson, you will learn how to calculate area and perimeter of polygons on a coordinate plane. A rectangle is a polygon. You can find the perimeter and area of a rectangle by using a formula. For the perimeter, you double the length, double the width, and add them together. You find area by multiplying the length and the width together. But what if you forget the formulas? How can you find the perimeter and area? If you remember that perimeter, is the distance around an object, we do not need a formula. Here we have a rectangle in the coordinate plane. Let's count the distance around the rectangle to find the perimeter. Begin at any vertex and start counting. The top side is 3 units. The right side is 5 units. The bottom side is 3 units. And the left side is 5 units. Add these numbers together. The perimeter of the rectangle is 16 units. Area means the size of an object. What is the area of this rectangle? Each square on the coordinate plane represents one square unit. If we count the number of squares this rectangle covers, we can find the area. Start in the top left corner. Continue counting. The area of the rectangle is 15 square units. You just found the perimeter and area of a rectangle. In today's lesson, you learned how to calculate area and perimeter of polygons on a coordinate plane. Let's find the area and perimeter of a polygon with vertices at 4, 7, 4, negative 5, negative 7, 7, and negative 7, negative 5. First, we plot the points. They make a rectangle. To find the perimeter, we count the units around the rectangle. Let's start at the top left corner. The perimeter is 46 units. To find the area, we can count the number of square units that make up the shape. The area is 132 square units. Think about your learning plan. Do you have any questions? If not, it is your turn to try.